If I were a pig, oink, oink, and had a curly tail, I'd dump my boyfriend, cause he's a real bore. I subscribe to live a life. A life must boldly drain it to its dregs. Was that Homer? T.S. Eliot. I often wonder where people get their stuff from. I get my stuff from the people that came before me. Are there any original thoughts? Maybe a few. I don't know. Remember Frederick Nucci? Of course you do. Late 1800s. That's not so far ago, 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 ago. I think he said something like, To live is to suffer, to survive, to find some meaning in suffering. I like to live a life of joy. A little pain is cool, like after you lift some weights. Sore muscles. Is the brain a muscle or just an antenna to my being? I don't know where he got his thoughts from. Maybe they were passed down, maybe they weren't. But I'll attribute this to him, this quote. I'm not upset that you lied to me. I'm upset from now on. I can't believe you. There's a lot to be said for the truth. But then again, there is cling called social grease and bureaucratic armor. Oh, yeah. Well, me, 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 not anybody else. But then again, where did I get it from? I say nothing new under the sun, but that surely isn't my quote. Maybe it's a class disease. And that would have been about the monopoly of the... Monopoly? Oh, no. The monotony of our lives. A computer joke. A farmer in the dell... A napping bull? A bulldozer? You hear about the farmer that shot a deer? But he missed and he hit his bull? And he screamed, Mistake! Two silkworms had a race and it ended in a tie. I love you all, I really do. I'd like to go a wild on this machine. This is the machine that tells the difference between Big Brother and you and me. Mm-hmm.